If you're watching this video, you probably done your research and know to shoot expired film, you should overexpose it. One stop per every 10 years this film has been expired. And me, being the always trying to make bad decision me, got curious and thought, what if I don't follow the rules? <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to another episode of Are We Finally Done With Expired Films? If you've been watching my channel, you know we have a thing with expired film. No, I did not go out of my way to buy expired film. I just happened to have a bunch of film that has been sitting around too long. Like 10 years too long. <laughs> And why do I have so many expired films? I don't know, because back in the day, you know, films are cheaper and then like I moved to Los Angeles, I just stopped shooting film and then I just forgot about them and then recently I found them and uh... Anyway, today we're gonna be talking about expired films, how to use them, why you should or should not use them, things you need to know before getting them, what to expect and how to correct them when scanning and editing. I'm gonna show you some sample photos, the good ones and the bad ones, so you can make decision for yourself. So, the rule of thumb is to overexpose it. In general, you should overexpose it one stop per every 10 years the film passes expired date because the layers of chemical that react to light will slowly lose sensitivity over time. And if you didn't store it properly, the chemical will also become unstable. It will cause color shift. Higher speed film are more likely affected by this than lower speed film. And the color films are also more likely to be affected by this than black and white film. I personally haven't shot any expired black and white film yet, but when I do, I will definitely make another video to find out if this is true. I followed this overexposed rule when shooting most of my expired film before, until one day I was wondering, what if I shoot it at the box speed and not overexpose it? For science, let's find out. Me and my friend Ivy went to Little Tokyo last week and did a test shoot. I was shooting on the Fujifilm Extra 400, expired by 2014. The first and the second shot came out alright. This is straight out of my flatbed scanner. I didn't even remove the dust yet. Compared with the Kodak film I have been using, the Fuji film does have a noticeable green tint. Hint the color of the package. Then when we get to a more contrasty light situation, you can see the green is heavier, especially in the shadow. I don't even know what happened with this one. The reason I shoot expired film, for one, I already have a bunch of them sitting around. I just use them to practice. For two, sometimes, surprisingly, they can come out nicely. For example, this couple of ones are also shot on film that expired about 10 years and also shot around the same time of the day. And they look great. So I keep having hopes. And then you get photos like this. I showed these pictures to the model and she likes them. I mean, she's a good friend of mine and she's very nice and very encouraging. She likes all the pictures I took. <laughs> she said they remind her of the old pictures her parents took of her when she was a little. You hear me keep saying like, cute. So if you dig the vintage old photo look, you should try it. Or if you feel adventurous and want to challenge yourself, you should try it. Or if you feel comfortable scanning and editing the photo and to fix exposure and to fix the color in post, you should try it. But if you're just starting out doing film photography, you may want to stay away from expired films. You cannot foresee or control the results. And then when the picture came out not as expected, you won't know what happened. You might be disappointed in film photography altogether and give away your film camera to your neighbor. Huh? Oh well, you might say not knowing how the film gonna turn out, it's part of the fun. I mean, if you enjoy that kind of heart attack sometime. 
If you want to get some expired film and try it, knowing how the film was stored will definitely help. If the film was always kept in fridge or freezer in a sealed bag, expired by 5 to 10 years, it might not be a big deal. Just overexpose it a little bit, you will be fine. My expired film, on the other hand, are never in the fridge. They've been traveling with me from one country to another and they've been through airplane ride. That means they've probably been x-ray scanned a couple of times. So the condition of my expired film can really be all over the place. If you're buying expired film, you just have to trust your seller because you won't know until you shoot and process and scan them. So I highly suggest you don't shoot anything important on expired film because you cannot control it. Sometimes it may turn out nothing, you know? Unless you're photographing nothingness. Nothingness is art. What? <laughs> In general, with expired film, you can expect for one, Decrease light sensitivity, which you can compensate by overexpose it. Two, color shift, normally more towards blue or magenta, which you can adjust it when scanning and editing. And three, you will also lose some contrast. Your photo will turn out a little bit more flat. And four, you will get green, heavy green. Green, green. Why can't I pronounce this word? Green. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if in any circumstance you purposely shoot on expired film but do not like the expired film look, then what is wrong with you? <laughs> then you can try to save the photo, like Doctor Strange turn himself into a zombie and try to save the girl. Oops, was that a spoiler? I'm sorry. You can use all of the wonderful tools in Lightroom and to fix a photo, kinda. All right, let's use this photo as a example. This is straight scanned and the basic convert by Negative Lab. Let's not change anything from here, just export it as a TIFF file. From here, it all comes down to how you see this photo. To me, it's too dark and too blue. So first of all, we will bring up the exposure and then we'll shift the temperature over to yellow and add a little bit green since it was shot on Fujifilm. See, that's already pretty good. And then you can do your usual clean up the dust and other editing if you edit your film. All right, this is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoy it. What is your experience with expired film? Leave me a comment below if you find this film any, if you find this video any helpful, please give it a like and click that subscribe button if you want to join my photography journey on YouTube. And this is Sam, I will see you next week. Why is my outro always so awkward? Bye.